<laughs> Before I said anything, a train whistle blew. Listen, see if it picks it up. Hear that? The last night the Lord was showing me something that we need to pray over. And it's this story right here. California getting record, record volume of Canadian oil. Now they're bringing this into the Bay Area of California by train. They used to bring it over um, by ship. This is very, very dangerous. So let me show you the story. Oh, Bakersfield's getting a pipeline. Or maybe. I, there's an urgency, Saints. It, okay, it's Minister Paul, 1033 on 324, 2014. I am putting out a red alert code, 1033 emergency. That's what I woke up on my heavy on my heart and has not left for three hours. So let's go to this story and then I'm going to show you another one that's breaking. 303, come on now as a train goes by. Lots of oil in rail tank cars about to be coming to Bay Area. In other words, like California, Oakland. Look at all this oil. And the fear is already, look, three, three, 33. That was the age of Christ uh, when he went to the cross, by the way. Lord is really talking. Okay, so I'm going to put a link to this. There's been so many derailments that this is a huge... Uh, okay, we'll just read right here. Oil is flooding into the Bay Area in rail tank cars that amount to potential... Look, look at this. Environmental disaster on wheels. So I'm going to put a link to the story because here they come. And all they're full to the top of oil a lot of oil I don't know how much oil but a lot of oil and it's never been done by train before with fully loaded like this with this many it used to come in by ships so I, I believe that we're being set up for agenda 21 I believe just like the Bible says lots of people are going to perish now it's hard to say I'm you know I want to cry but here's here we must press on this story is breaking up Everybody knows how I've been talking about the Chicago area and um, earthquakes, radiation, war with Russia and China. Um, I have a whole series on Chicago. I'll put a link to it. Okay, right now, and when did this story break? Uh, just moments ago, I believe. At 10.10. 10, 10, 10, 10 a.m. on March 24th, 2014. It says, in the National Transportation Safety Board press hearing on train derailment at O'Hare, Chicago, 32 were injured. And that's this. And, and then, you know, but the Lord showed me this last night. I'm going to put a link to that Chicago thing. It looks like there's two pictures. It's all about the money, isn't it? Look with the San Francisco 49er emblems. Okay. Man. Does anybody else feel what I'm feeling? So I'm going to put a link to that. I'm going to put a link to that. And then I'm going to put a link to... Um, check something out and then I'm, I'm gonna add this to Syrian rebels controlling radio tower base man and then they've they've just spreads to Liberia this is the a the Ebola virus prophecy about Malaysian plane in Iran now they're just Writing them off is gone, but uh, I'm just not buying it. Someone was shot in Georgia at work. 
were saddened by today's announcement on Malaysia Flight 370. I haven't seen conclusive evidence of anything. But what I want to do is I want to go to, I'm going to put links. I'm, I'm feeling led by the Lord to say everything that needs to be said today suddenly. I woke up with a heavy heart for this world and the lost souls. I'm going to go to O'Hare in Chicago. Then I'm going to show you the link. O'Hare. Chicago, Illinois. Let's see where that is in relationship to the, the dream I had about it. It's turned into like a series of seven videos. These are real events. They're happening so quickly. Let's just put that like that. Oak Park. Okay, now let me um let me go quickly to find that playlist. You know, I feel this is very important. There's an urgency to sound this alarm of loss of life. And look, here it is. Look, seven videos a year ago. Chicago Dream. Now let's go check this map. I'm being real, folks. You know, and my time is uh, coming to an end here on YouTube. I notice it's not just me. A lot of other people are being called off, too. It was about the Chinese consulate in my dream. I'll put a link to this entire play playlist, but Pastor Larry was in it. And then they had that, look, 3.7 earthquake, quarry blast. we got to keep in mind where we're at uh, in the Bible. So I'm going to go ahead and put a link to all this stuff. And I feel like I'm missing something. I feel like I'm missing something. Let me check a couple other things because it's just on my heart. The Holy Spirit won't let me stop until like I'm missing something. Look at that. San Francisco Bay Area, California earthquake. Let's just go through everything. What are the odds? Look at this. I knew it. The Holy Spirit wants to show more. We are currently investigating 37 reports. Redding, California. Right. Uh, right north of me by two hours. Keep an eye on this one. I'm 47 years old and this was probably the best one I've ever seen. Clarity was perfect. And uh, and he gave these direction up to down. Look at 37 degrees. Green, orange, and yellow seemed like it was breaking apart. Before I went to bed last night, I actually looked out over the sky. So let's do this. See where this is at. Going to Google or San Francisco. Remember that Google barge is out there that nobody knows what's in it. I was trying to keep this short, but the Holy Spirit just won't allow me. Is this a bed and breakfast or something? This is the location. Redwood Boulevard. Eagle's Nest Road. Okay, let's back out. Let's take a look. There's five. There's seven, three. There's a church. This is where Bethel is up here. Um, so here's five that, you know, if you went down far enough, you're going to see that it goes right to where I live right here. This, this yellow pen is where I live. One more thing. I, I think I'll just end with that. The Lord said it is enough. Minister Paul, watchman on the wall, sounding the alarm to anybody willing to listen anywhere, any place. Jesus Christ is Lord. He's coming back soon. We're heading into wars. 
and earthquakes and great tribulation and uh, fireballs falling down and starting fires. And I'm just beseeching you to turn to the Lord Jesus Christ right now and repent. You've probably heard this hundreds and thousands of times. Well, I'm going to say it again. Repent and turn to Jesus and you can escape the worst of what's coming upon the world. In Jesus' name, amen.